interviews with journalists, but I, I don't enjoy it very often. Uh, it's ter terribly difficult sometimes. But I have to do it to sell tickets. <laughs> and I must have done some interviews for this country because it's been selling great numbers of tickets. Bless you for being here. They say to me in these interviews, you know, you're a certain age. What <laughs> age? <laughs> and they're uh, like, why do you keep doing this? Because you love it. Yeah, I love it, but it's not just that. That's too simplistic. It's, it's because the, the truth is, after all this time, you wake up and realize when the pandemic hit and there was lockdowns and we, we cancelled or postponed and rescheduled 60 shows. The government. And, you, you know, and in those times, I was at home a lot and thought, I do it because I can't not do it. <laughs> the joy that we get from this is indescribable. I, I can't tell you what it feels like. And when you, you reach a certain stage and you realize that it actually really is in your blood, it's in the bloodstream, it's in the soul. And to be up here, frankly, I wake up every, apart from my family, I put them first and I wish them all good health. Okay? After that, all I want in life is an audience. <laughs> So that we can keep travelling, seeing the, yeah, I told you, I'm going to be on the canals tomorrow, <laughs> around the Dom Tower. I go back with memories, not just hotel rooms and gigs. Some of you have supported me for 50 years, so yeah. I, I thank you for that. Go yeah. safely yeah. so tonight, guys, it's very late. I don't know. I'm too old to play this late. <laughs> <laughs> Travel safe and stay well. Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, four!
take this seriously. <laughs> there ain't no 